installing a water loop. Replace the phase change material and putty pads on the GPU node water loop. Install the PCM jig on the GPU cold plate and attach the PCM to the square opening of the jig. Repeat this procedure on the PCM of all four GPU cold plates. Replace the putty pads on the water loop and the GPU node. Install the water loop. Loosen the 20 water loop carrier screws and remove the water loop carrier from the GPU node side. Partially fasten all 16 screws using a torque screwdriver set to 0.1 newton meters plus almost 0.06 newton meters, 1.5 inch pounds plus or minus 0.5 inch pounds. Fully fasten all 16 screws using a Torx screwdriver set to 0.45 newton meters plus or minus 0.06 newton meters, 4 inch pounds plus or minus 0.5 inch pounds.
verify that all 16 screws are securely fastened to 0.45 newton meters plus or minus 0.06 newton meters, 4 inch pounds plus or minus 0.5 inch pounds, using a torque screwdriver. Follow the screw installation sequence specified on the network board label and fasten the eight network cold plate screws with a torque screwdriver set to the proper torque. Fasten the quick connect screws on the front node side with the torque screwdriver set to the proper torque. Fasten the 13 water loop screws and quick connect screws with the torque screwdriver set to the proper torque. Fasten the one hex screw and three PH1 screws. Fasten the cable tie to the GPU board. Connect the carrier board power cable. Install the M.2 backplane assembly and M.2 backplane and cold plate. Install the OSFP module. Install the drive cage. Install the cross braces. Install the tray cover.